Today I have to uh, find some valve boxes and what I'm going to use is a wire tracer and I'm going to show you how to connect that and uh, trace this uh, wire. We're going to actually find a valve. We're missing some valve boxes. They've been turfed over in this field over the years. So today is the day to locate them all. So here's our wire tracer. I call it wire tracer here. It's actually called uh, a valve locator but for all intents and purposes we're going to trace the wire. So we have our kit here and uh, so this is our wand we're going to be tracing the wire with and it comes with two cables and a grounding rod instructions and the control base unit there so what we can do is we can use a grounding rod and how that would work is you just basically stick it into the ground and you can connect this uh, alligator clip to it and then the other end goes into the back terminal on the base here as well as I do see there is a grounding rod here and here's our controller just to keep things a little tighter a little neater I just see there's the grounding cable in here so I'm just going to go directly to it which is even a better ground than the grounding rod but if you don't have a ground you can use that or if you have a hose bib or something like that anything copper going into the ground that will work So, number 11 is the one I need to figure out. These are our Rainbird small screwdriver terminals here, and I've already loosened it up, so take that out there. Attach my, my clip to it. Let's take it away. And the loose end is going to go into our box here. And that's all set. So we're gonna turn it on and we take a look at our reading there and it's bouncing off the tent, it's too high. Let me zoom in there so I need to turn this down. This will be the right around there. So I have kind of an idea of where I'm going here. So here's where I am right now at the controller. And I've actually found number 12, so I'm going to be looking for the valve that operates number 11. So I already know that the main line goes along here. So there should be valves all the way along here. And I'm not sure where the valves would be for 7 and 8 here, but I have found the one in the corner. Zoom in there. Shit, left flag there. It's in the corner there. And uh, it shouldn't be too difficult to find. So I'm just going to trace the wire. I already know it's there, but I'll quickly trace it back and I'm going to follow it to try to find 11. And uh, I should be able to find the rest after that. Make sure you have your uh, setting switch on uh, normal if that's going to be used in the normal mode rather than broadcast. And in the instructions it tells the difference between the two. So our, our wand here, pick it up a signal already. We just want to make sure that everything's in the same mode. So. You can see here the modes in null and also in normal. And you can see as I get close, you can hear the signal, the tone, we're picking up the wire signal. So quickly, you'll be able to discover which way the wire is going. Sort of walk one direction or the other and you should pick up some noise. Make sure you have enough volume. There we go, pick up our wire. So when you hear the noise disappear, you bring it in, and you hear the noise, the tone, it disappears, and you can either follow that or you can try to find both ends of the wire. Not both ends, but each side of the wire. The, the noise is actually on the outside of the wire generally, and the silent area is uh, where the wire actually is. So here I'm at the first valve box I found, and I do find that the, uh, the tracer does pick up some interference from this. Seems to be the fence, so it's a little more difficult, but not impossible. Uh, I do know the main line does go down that way. I found more valve boxes down that way, but I missed some two along here. So I'm just going to walk where I believe the main line is, and uh, wait till I hear some noise. The sprinklers about every 50 feet apart, so it shouldn't be too difficult to find this. So I just keep walking and. I have a shovel in the ground down there so I know the direction and here we go. Oh, 
so now I can find some noise. Let me bring it back. There it is. So I'm going to mark the outside edges of where it's hit the noise. So I'm going to mark an edge there and see where it is. There. And there. And there. And hopefully uh, I'm going to find my valve right in the middle. Let me mark that out. So I've marked the outside edges where the tracer seems to uh, find something. There, 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 and there. So I think that uh, the valve box should be right there. So let me just put this down. And I have a long screwdriver here. That's what I use. Uh, and let's see, let me back this up. And looks like it should be right in the middle. So let's get this and start poking around in here. See if I can hear something. Hopefully it's not too deep and I can hear something. Oh, there we go. Sounds like a valve box. Let me just move it a little bit further over and get the same noise. There we go. Right in the middle. So now we know where that one is. And as I said, it's 50 feet, and for me that's 17 paces, so I'm gonna grab one of these flags and I'm gonna to head towards my shovel. Uh, there's a valve box there that I found and that does the, uh, the lateral line that goes parallel to this hedge here. So I think if I go 17 paces, I should be able to find the next one. Get my screwdriver. Let's see. Okay, so that's 17 there. Put my flag in the ground. Get my screwdriver. So I paced off 50 feet and I uh, marked it with a flag and I have my big screwdriver. I'm just going to poke around and try to find this. Right at the flag, nothing. Let's see. So my line is maybe just back a bit here. So let's try it uh, right here. Oh, what do you got? Sounds like a valve box. Oh, more. Not there. So, yep. I would definitely. Uh, to get that area that's very close to my flag so I was off by only about a foot and you can see the next valve box so down the line we go uh, I find it's easy just to trace it uh, pace it out 50 feet what if you have to you can go back to your control box which mine is is uh, back behind uh, the backstop there and uh, connect a wire tracer and that'll help you out so next I'll uh, dig this up and uh, get a valve box extension and raise this up to uh, ground level. I used my large screwdriver to uh, find the approximate corners of the valve box. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, trim it with my shovel and lift this grass up and I'm going to use an extension. And I'll show you how to uh, add that extension in another video. Let's see what I found. There we go. Green. There's our valve box. Looks like it's down around five inches, six inches. Put an extension on that, and uh, that way it can access this valve a little easier in the future if there's ever a problem. It's the first time that valve's probably seen sunlight in about 20 years. And here's the next valve box that I have discovered. And let's see what we got. Another valve box. Just like that. So the hole I cut is already a good start. A little bit of saw to remove and uh, I'm gonna have to dig up a little bit more around here to get my extension on. And here's my extension, six inch extension and I customized it so it'll slide all the way. Usually you can only slide them to this little line here but I cut out the ribs and it is still strong. People might say, oh, it's not strong anymore, but yeah, this thing's still nice and strong. And I'm gonna dig all that up, put that over, and uh, bring it up right to grade or a little bit higher than grade. So, in case they top dress in the springtime, that valve box won't be uh, buried. Not this year.